Hello, Jessica here from All the Sparkle with a Star Wars themed galaxy card celebrating May the 4th. May the 4th is a play on words of the May the Force Be With You greeting from Star Wars and is an unofficial holiday celebrating all things Star Wars. A crafty friend of mine, Marcy Sharp, suggested a collaboration for the holiday and as someone who is married to a huge Star Wars fan, I had to join in on the fun. So let's get started. I've watched many videos for galaxy cards and I decided to combine some of my favorite techniques to create my own spin on a galaxy background. I start by randomly smushing salty ocean, mustard seed, picked raspberry, blueprint sketch, evergreen bough, and seedless preserves distress ink onto my glass work surface. Of course, being a galaxy, the main color on my card will be black, so instead of smushing black distress ink onto my work surface, I go all out and drop black soot distress ink re inker directly onto the other colors. I spritz the surface liberally with water and use my finger to move it around, but you could also use a paintbrush if you don't want to get too inky. I press my watercolor paper into the ink and let it soak in for a few seconds before picking up the paper. I know at this point it looks a hot mess and your first inclination might be to throw it in the trash, but give it some time. As you layer ink and paint and sprays over the background, it becomes totally transformed. Next, I dab gold and silver metallic paint onto my work surface. I spritz it with water and then dab some of the paint off with a paper towel. I press my paper into the metallic paints a few times, then repeat the process with a second application of gold and silver metallic paint. The second time, I didn't dab off the paint, which created brighter splotches of color. Next, I dab white paint onto my work surface, spritz it with water, dab off some of the paint, and press the paper into the paint to create stars far off in the distance of my galaxy. At this point, I decide to add a little more black ink for darker areas of color. I drop black soot re inker onto my work surface, spritz it with water, smear it around with my finger, dab off a little with my paper towel, and press my paper into it quickly. The addition of the black creates more dimension throughout the galaxy. I also want to add stars that look closer to the front of my galaxy, so I put a little white acrylic paint onto my work surface, add a little water, and flick it across my card with a wet toothbrush. I got this idea recently from Kiwi, and I really like how the stiff bristles give a different effect than a regular paintbrush. It's starting to come together now. I let it dry completely and then decide to add a few more layers. Since I'm using sprays, I place the paper inside a shallow box to keep from getting spray all over everything. I start with a few spritzes of W plus 9 Shimmer Spray. The Shimmer Spray has a slightly purple sheen to it, which is perfect for this card. Next, I flick silver, white, and gold sprays from Hero Arts over my card with a paintbrush to create uneven larger splotches and dots of color. I set that aside to dry completely and then trimmed it down to a four and a quarter by five and a half panel. I want to keep my sentiment simple and let the focus stay on my background. One of the iconic moments in the Star Wars series is the scene where Leia tells Han Solo that she loves him right before he is frozen in carbonite and he replies with, I know. I thought that dialogue would be perfect for a cute anniversary card. I start by stamping the speech bubbles from Lawn Fawn's a birdie told me, and then use my scan and cut to cut the outline of the speech bubbles. I didn't want the stamp lines on my card, but I recently destashed my coordinating dies, and this was an easy way to get the same look without the dies. I used Milo's ABCs to stamp my sentiment and line the letters up on my mini Misty. I prepped the paper with my anti static powder tool, stamped the sentiment in Versamark, and heat emboss it with silver embossing powder. Before assembling my card, I take a black marker and go over the edge of my galaxy panel so that the white cut edge won't show on my black card base. I also stamp the inside of my card with the sentiment using the A Long Time Ago set from Neat and Tangled. I prep the paper with my anti-static powder tool, stamp the sentiment in Versamark, and emboss it with white embossing powder.
After the embossing powder is cool, I rub off the excess powder from my anti-static tool with a Swiffer cloth. I adhere the galaxy background to my card base with my ATG gun and then adhere the sentiment speech bubbles with foam mounting tape. And that's my card, a shimmery dimensional galaxy for my favorite Star Wars nerd. I hope my card inspires you to try creating a galaxy of your own. You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the YouTube button to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. All of my other social media accounts are also linked below. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.